Most of us have no idea about the things that we do to ourselves day after day. I'm talking about the accumulation of stresses that we do to ourselves. Again, many people just sitting, bent over, driving in a vehicle, doing things chronically over and over and over again, and wondering why they're having problems. Well, guess what? This is all about texting. Texting is the epidemic to neck back and pinch nerve problems. And this is the era of technology, right? Making our life easier right at home. There's so much that we can do, but obviously we're not doing it right. It makes our life much more difficult because of the long hours of looking down, texting over and over and over every day. Texting is a serious issue, a serious problem. Not only a dangerous problem, particularly while driving an automobile, but a very dangerous problem when it comes to the health of our neck and our spine and our nerves. Texting over and over with our head down in this position, looking forward, looking off to the left, looking off to the right, but our head going forward against gravity. That's the big problem. The accumulation of stresses affecting the muscles, affecting the ligaments and tendons, and ultimately affecting the nerves. Pinch nerves, poor posture, rounded shoulders, headaches, neck pain, pain into the arms and hands, tingling, numbness, all coming from bad posture. Our head weighs 10 to 12 pounds, and that's when the ears are over the shoulders, and that's normal. Imagine your head in the second position, just going 15 degrees forward. That's a matter of 27 pounds that the spine has to hold up. In the third position, when the head goes 30 degrees forward, that accumulates to 40 pounds. And when it goes 45 degrees forward, that's 49 pounds of weight that the head has to hold up the back of the shoulders. Imagine your neck going 60 degrees forward all the way to the far right. That's an extra 60 pounds of stress that the neck and shoulders have to withstand. 60 pounds of weight. Imagine, that's equivalent to four adult-sized bowling balls. Six bags of food filled up to the top. Or an eight-year-old child. That's a lot of weight the accumulation of stresses that our back and neck and shoulder has to withstand. So understanding the facts is very important, but the most important is to make sure that your ear stays in line with your shoulders. And when you look forward, jump the chin down. Don't bring the head in a flexion position for long periods of time. The more that your head and ear stay in the line, the center of gravity, the less stress it's going to put on the joints and spine of your body. Make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.